your vision. You can't give your vision. Sometimes you can't even tell other folks about
Show you. 
confirmation. God requires no confirmation. See, you want to, I don't really believe in confirmation, but if you want confirmation, you only confirm that which man tells you. You never need to confirm that which God tells you. And so they're headed in the right direction. They're headed in the right direction, but a soft, south wind comes. Now the world is in you. Somebody in here, the world is already in you. But the situation is going to look different than what the world told you. The situation is going to look different than what the world told you. You can't look at God with your eyes. Once you pray with your ears. Yeah. All right. Right. See, our ears tend to be more spiritual than our eyes. Yeah. So once God puts the word in you, you can't allow the south wind. The wind from the enemy. Yes. Yes. To come and take away that which God has put inside of you with his voice. You heard his voice. He's already given you the direction. He's already given you the pace. Now somebody's trying to quicken you up or slow you down. Now notice, when you're on God's pace, you can either be quickened up or you can be slowed down. But you gotta be on his pace. You can't allow somebody to change your pace right now because they're telling you about the situation as though it's negative. It's not negative. It looks negative, but it's not negative. Right. All things work together. Yes, yes, come on, yes, I told you that I believe God's word. To everything there is a huh? yes. Yes. It's yes. your appointment. It's not negative, it's your appointment. You're going through that for a reason. God is trying to elevate you, but if I don't want to see you elevated, come on. Come on. I'll have you not going through the very test that God sent you to elevate you. Right. When Joseph goes into the ditch, remember they tried to kill him. He said, we can't kill him. Let's throw him in the ditch. His test was not that. His test was the ditch. Yes, yes. You know what I'm saying? Whatever your test is, you can't let somebody put you in a different test than what your intended test is. Yes, Once you get your intended test, then you can't talk to a lot of folks. It's your test. It's not your sister's test. It's not your brother's test. It's not your mother's test. It's not your father's test. It's not even your husband or your wife's test. It's your test. Unfortunately, when we talk to people, they try to put themselves in our test. But when people put themselves in your test, they're going to see your test more negative. People who aren't spiritual will see your test as more negative than you already see it. And so what happens is, by the time you get done talking to them, what look like you bet the beat, all of a sudden becomes the beat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh huh. Thank you. What look like you something God was just going to break out of mm -hmm. and break you out of, all of a sudden you run around trying to take care of. Them. You aren't running around taking care of them until you talk to them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was the south wind. God was not in the south wind. He was in the voice that spoke before the south wind. <laughs> So then what happens? Oh, yeah, yeah. They moved out. I'm showing you how good God is. They moved out of the pace of God. The tempest went, went toward the ship. But remember, Paul said, if we go out, it's going to cause us to ship delay, and that means everything on the ship and our lives. But even when you're not on God's pace, God's grace. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Even when you're not on God's pace, God's grace. Yes, yes. Thank you. So Paul Man. said, except these abide in this ship. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So even when I'm not on his pace, I'm on his grace. Isn't that good? When I get out of God's pace, he just puts grace. So will I be tried? Will I be tested? Will I go through? Yes. Will I die? This sickness is not unto death. Yeah. This situation is not unto your death. God's grace is sustaining you until you get back on this page. That's right. Thank you. He says his grace. 
to sustain us until we get back on his pace. He sent this grace to sustain us. So he, took, he sent grace down there. I said, now you're all going to die. No, you should have died. I told you you were going to die. He said, well, us, what should have happened to us should have been a lot worse. Yes, yes. But when it got off of his pace, he put grace. So a lot of situations you were in, I'm talking about folks since they've been the same. Been in a lot of tricky situations. You were off his pace, but he sent grace. <laughs> Every time I get off of this page, you have, you have a point of time for grace. It's your grace appointment. And he sends grace because grace covers you. And doesn't allow the devil to kill you even when you're on the devil's territory. Isn't God good? Hallelujah. You can be on the devil's territory. And God will let the devil kill you because he'll cover you with grace. Do I come to myself? The prodigal son was in the devil's territory. He ended up in a pig pen, right with the devil. But you know, it was covering him in the pig pen, God's grace. And when he came to himself, he said, let me get out of here. I don't belong here. Sometimes you have to come to yourself. And say, I don't even belong here. But thank God for his grace that covers me by him off of this pace. His grace. Behind your head before the Lord. We're going to just come to this altar.